Election day is quickly approaching, and many of you are still working to learn more about the candidates. Good evening, and welcome to News 10 on my Fox 10. Terre Haute has four candidates running for mayor. Current Mayor Duke Bennett, Democrat candidate Karim Nasser, and Independents Pat Goodwin and Shane Meehan. Tonight, three of the four candidates took the stage for a community forum at the Vigo County Public Library. That's where we find News 10 Sarah Lehman tonight. She was at that forum. She joins us now live to give us a breakdown of what happened. It's new for you tonight at 10. Patrice, it was standing room only tonight at the Vigo County Public Library. That's because there's a lot of stake come November. Voters, voters will vote on two referendums, city council positions, and the seat of mayor. Tonight, the League of Women Voters held a mayoral forum. The goal was to educate the public more on each candidate before they cast their ballot. Now, only three out of the four candidates were there tonight. Shane Meehan did not participate tonight. Candidates were asked many questions like, what does the title of mayor mean to you? How they would bring businesses to Terre Haute and keep people in the city, just to name a few. The president of the League of Women Voters says they do this kind of stuff to keep their community informed. We have so many important issues that uh, we have a big interest in what's going on. It's good to see the uh, large crowd that we had today, and it's good to see that we have candidates that really care for the community and are out there trying to make a difference. Now, tomorrow night, News 10 and the Terre Haute Chamber of Commerce are hosting a debate. That's happening at the Indiana Theater starting at 6.30. You can stream it online at WTHITV.com or you can catch it on air on MyFox 10. For now, reporting live in downtown Terre Haute, I'm Sarah Lehman. News 10, back to you. Well, election day for Terre Haute is November 5th. The Vigo County Public Library and the, Kurtz, the clerk's office are working to make the day go smoother. It's called the Vote Vigo Campaign. Volunteers will post every 30 minutes on social media about wait times at the polls. The campaign website, votevigo.org, also has helpful information about election day and the candidates. We have linked you to it on our website, wthitv.com.